Hey everyone, I'm out for my walk and I've noticed that the river that flows by my house has had the dam put up and you can see behind me it's just a quagmire of green. Uh, there's some lovely four-story houses that overlook the river over there and people pay a premium to, to look out of their window to flowing water. There's something special about flow. But when it's dammed up, there's no flow and it actually becomes quite unattractive and stagnant. It's a very similar story with the, the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea has an inland through the Jordan River but it has no outlet and over the course of time the water evaporates and the salt content doesn't and so there's according to wiki there's a 34% salt content in the Dead Sea and nothing can live there hence the Dead Sea it's just dammed up and has no flow it dies it's unattractive and I think we can learn something in life through that I think we can look at the flow in our lives and where there's blockage and we don't allow flow actually we become unattractive and having done life with a lot of people in my role as a pastor, as I talk to more people and understand the blockages, it often hurts from the past where they've been burnt. Uh, maybe they've had a sickness, maybe they've had a rejection, maybe they've tried something, it didn't work out, and so they've given up and it stops flow. And as you stop flow, things stagnate. Things can't live there. It becomes unattractive. And it got me thinking, how can we unblock so that we can flow again? And uh, I got looking at Moses' story and how in Moses 3, um, he's talking to God and he, God's saying, go to the people and, and tell them I'm with them and, and go to Pharaoh and tell him to let the people go. And Moses is freaking out a little bit and says, who shall I say is with me then? And God just says, tell them I am with you. It's, it's I am. And it got me whole thinking about a whole lot of stuff because God doesn't want to be boxed in. We love to box God in, but God says, I am. I am what you need when you need it. I am who you need when you need it. When you need health, I'm the healer. When you need provision, I'm the provider. When you need protection, I'm the protection. When you can't see where to go, I'll lead the way. When you need a door open, I'll open the door. I am. He's the great I am. And so if you feel stagnant in life, if you feel like you've got blocked and lost your flow, can I give a great shout out and say the best place to go straight away is to the Father God and say, I need you in this situation to be with me. You are the great I am and I understand that. And so there's this whole thing, biblically speaking, about in uh, Proverbs 11 where it says, those who refresh others will be refreshed. And it's about flow. You can see the idea of flow in that. And so who are you refreshing? Who are you giving yourself away to? Who are you being kind to? Who are you be being generous with? And as you give yourself away, you can expect to see flow in your life where life comes, springs forth. And it's a great, great thing. You're an amazing person. I hope that stirs, stirs thoughts in you. Get some flow in your life and be the most amazing person you can be. God bless.